Hello. So in the last video, we we learn how to open an Excel file. Now, as we have opened this Excel file, let's understand what exactly the Excel interface is. So this is an Excel interface that you can see right now. Here you can find few buttons. That is a quick access toolbar. You can add few functions from here. These are very frequently used uh, icons that you can use anytime without going in depth in this particular. Like if you are using some formula from here and you are going there, it took time. So you can put it here that you can use very frequently. The second thing is this area. This is known as a ribbon. These all are ribbon tabs. And whenever you will click on any particular ribbon tab, you will find multiple different options as well. So to be precise, in the home, we can see there are copy, cut, paste, Format Painter. In the second area, there are multiple fonts. You can bold a particular cell, make some changes in the font, sizes, colors, alignments, merge, wrap, different particular functions are available. After that, you find this area. So this is the basic uh, area where we will be working in all over the Excel. So there are two different things that you can see here. First is the number here that is a row. It is known as row, row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, row 5. And this A, B, C, D. So these are known as columns. In the existing model, we have approximate 1 million rows. So, precisely 1,48,576. And there are approximately 13,000 columns available. So, it will create almost a billion or more cells that you can put it here. That is a very huge number. And even if you will put all those data in every cell, it might get hanged. Now, you can see here, this is a sheet. So this explains that there could be a multiple sheets. You can create multiple sheets by clicking here. There will be multiple worksheets that you can use. Apart from that, you can find the person whose license uh, Excel has and there is one more option a ribbon display option you can hide this these uh, whenever you find that the area is not very uh, full then you can click here and auto hide use auto hide ribbon so it will automatically hide to unhide it just click here it will come back there are two three different options as well this is for minimize this is to maximize or adjust you can and this can be used to close the excel file few more options like zoom you can increase the size you can decrease there are some mods are available page break preview how you, do you want to see it you can see it by this way usually people use only this option So there is one more option that I wanted to show you right now. Here, this is the formula bar. This is also known as formula bar. So whenever you are writing any formula, 
so if I can say I can write in the formula some so this formula can be seen by here if you will put your cursor on any cell you can find that formula here and this area will show you the cell value d5 d6 whatever cell you are in thank you for watching this video we'll meet you again in next video